Today, I want to talk to you guys about the Arbalist and let you guys know if it's good or not. And we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So today, I wanted to do a review on the new Arbalist Exotic Linear Fusion Rifle that was released when the Reverie event of 2019 went live earlier this week. But before we get into video, I would like to wish each and every one of you a happy Easter, and if you haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Forsaken contest for the month of May 2019, then let me know in the comments below what you guys are actually doing for Easter, as well as Click on the link in the description box below for your chance to win. Also, all sources to links of this video will be in the description box as well. Now before actually getting into the whole if the Arbalist is good or not, let's take a look at the weapon itself. In order to get the Arbalist, you need to complete the Party Hard Triumph in the Revelry 2019 event, as well as spend 300 Revelver's Essence at Eva Lamonte. All you have to do for the Party Hard Triumph is complete 7 Revelry Triumphs. The easiest ones to do in my opinion are Spring Cleaning, Spring Hunt, Super Celebratory, Verdant Light Events, Buddying Fashion, Fireworks, and Melee Mayhem. As for the perks, we have the intrinsic perk called Compounding Force which fires a slug that causes massive damage to elemental shields of enemy combatants. Then we have Extended Barrel, Projection Fuse, Disruption Break, which breaking an enemy shield with this weapon makes them more vulnerable to kinetic damage for a brief period, as well as composite stock. Now, it's actually kind of weird that Bungie didn't offer a ornament for this weapon as well. Maybe later on. Now that we have all of the perks out of the way, let's look at the stats for the Arbalist. According to DestinyTracker.com, the Arbalist has a charge time of 533, which is actually faster than the Queen Breaker, and an impact of 41, which is the same as the Sleeper Simulant, a range and stability of 60, a reload speed of 35, and a handling of 28, with a magazine of 5. As for its hidden stats, it has a zoom of 25, an inventory size of 34, and an aim assist of 61, which is the same as the Crooked Fang 4FR, and it also has a recoil direction of 87. Now, what separates the Arbalist from the Sleeper or the Queen Breaker or even the Crooked Fang is that as of this video, it is the only, and I'll say it again, the only linear fusion rifle that is a kinetic weapon that accepts special ammo, aka the green ammo. In PvE, the Arbalist can one-shot body shot small enemies like Dregs and Vandals, it can one-shot headshot shielded enemies with a red bar like centurions and it can even one shot headshot shielded majors like resilient captains and while in the leviathan raid it can actually kill two loyalist legionaries now i say only because while the arbalist can actually kill two loyalist legionaries the sleeper can actually kill three in a row in pvp or gambit the arbalist can one shot headshot any Guardian with a resilience of 7 or lower, or it can two-shot body shot them. Now, it requires a two-shot headshot or a one-shot body shot, one-shot headshot for Guardians with a resilience of 8 or higher. Also in PvP, the Arbalist only starts with two rounds, but you are able to pick up more from defeated enemies. One thing that I noticed while using the Arbalist is that yes, it shoots faster than the Queen Breaker, and yes, it has the same damage numbers as the Sleeper, but it cannot shoot enemies from across the map like the Sleeper or the Queen Breaker. So I actually think that it's well balanced, and I guess you can call it a perk, given that you can actually use special ammo rather than heavy ammo to use this weapon. For those who don't know, the Arbalist is meant to be used and is most affected in mid to close range combat. In PvP, this weapon doesn't suck at all. It is a high risk, high reward weapon. In order to maximize its effectiveness, you need to get your headshots or you will lose many gunfights. I mean, yes, you can finish off enemies that are already low health, but if you are going up against an enemy that has full shield, then you need those headshots. Another thing that I noticed is that the Arbalist is not for those without patience. And I mean, you don't have to sit back and try to snipe with it, but 
you don't just go rushing into the fight either. Let your opponents come to you or meet them halfway. As for PvE, it's a fun weapon to play with, but I personally would not waste my exotic slot on it when it could be used for something more powerful like the sleeper instead. And the sleeper is actually more powerful due to having that extended range that the arbalest doesn't. Now, of course, there will always be those toxic people out there that will say that the arbalest is trash or I don't know what I'm talking about or that the Jotun is better and my response to that is that's your opinion, but it comes down to personal preference. The Jotun is, in my opinion, a cheesy weapon. Yes, I said it. Hate on me all you want. It's a cheesy weapon where you point at a target that's not paying attention, shoot, get the kill, repeat. Anyone can use the Jotun and get kills. However, skilled players see the Jotun coming and move out of the way. Pro tip, it's easy to avoid the Jotun by moving or dodging to the right, for those who didn't know. Just like the Chaperone, the Arbalest takes skill to use because in order to get that automatic kill, you need to get that headshot. If you're not good at getting headshots, then the Arbalest is not the weapon for you. But if you are good at getting headshots, then this is definitely a weapon you'll have fun with in PvP because I know that I did. With all of that said, what do you guys think about the new exotic linear fusion rifle, Arbalest? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Or do you not care for it at all? Let me know in the comment section down below. Once again, I hope everyone has a happy Easter, and that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.